Hello, welcome back. Another uh, part of the new, new Apex season, we have the Ignite gameplay trailer. Are we up to season? I think we're on season 19, right? Holy shit, like, <laughs> they just keep going. I'm like, oh, oh wow. Wait, I wonder if they're going to do something like really big for season 20. But that that is not why we're here. We're here for the gameplay tra trailer. We're here for some catalyst abilities, possibly. We're here to see new parts of the map. Storm points coming back. I've missed it so much. Like, I haven't played too much this season, but I did, like, for a couple of weeks. I was, like, big into it. But I was like, where the hell is Storm? I was so sad. I was like, no, the Storm Point's not in. It's one of my favorite maps. I think it's just because it's, like, more, like, jungly. I, I just love that. But... I'm hoping for con conduit. Yes, abilities mostly. That'll be really fun. I uh, there is some. I I have another video like queued up that has like someone going over abilities really quickly because if I don't see them like fully in this, I need to I need to see them and know what she does. Um, and then I'll probably watch like eight thousand videos after this <laughs> about what she does because she seems like she's gonna be really cool. But for now. Like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I have my Twitter linked down below too, if you'd like to go follow me there. Other than that, let's get into it. Every okay. storm? Yeah? Fantastic. Breaks. Well, light I guess. Pierces through. Oh gosh. You just oh. need the strength. Something to happened to Storm Point. In my family, we call that strength. Look at this. Look at the sky! Holy shit, it's so cool looking. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, Apex trailer's doing well. She looks so much fun. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna see something. Hi, Catalyst. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, we'll, we'll come back and we'll, we'll watch this when it comes up. Oh, okay, shield. Okay, so like a heal, but for shields. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we're gonna see an ult, I'm guessing. Whoa. Holy shit, that looks cool as. Yes, what What would you like? I mean, it looks pretty, it looked pretty amazing. Okay, we got the changes to Storm Point. So point energized. Oh, I can't wait to go back. No. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Screw all this shit. I don't care about the battle pass. <laughs> I just can't. Cross progression. If you watch any of my other uh, videos on Apex, I think nearly every one I have just said how much I wanted cross progression to come. I can finally learn how to play on PC. Okay. She looks like so much fun. Oh my god. I love the, um... I don't know. Her, her abilities looked cool. The map looked cool. Cross progressions here. Like, nothing's gonna get better than... Cro oh, that is nearly the best news. So <laughs> Sorry, Conduit. Cross progression has taken the cake for this one. Um... Oh my word. Okay, we're gonna look a bit further at her abilities. This video is by Bob Z. Bob's. Uh, so we, we thank them for this, for the informative video, because I, I was trying to find one with like out people talking, so I didn't I don't want to obviously like encroach on someone's content. So full prop go watch their video. This is for my sake that I want to watch it and know and see more about what she does. So we're gonna jump into this. All of Conduit's new abilities okay, have finally yes. been revealed. Oh, I was meant to go back and look, but so this will tell look. me. The passive is called Savior's Speed, S where she amazing. gains a burst of speed boost when running towards a teammate out of tactical range. So I assume you probably oh, have that's to look cool. towards your teammates, and you just get a so it's like it's a real healer passive when you're far away from your teammates, which will make sense. And then I guess that way it doesn't promote ratting. We then have the yeah, tactical cool. radiant transfer, where you can send a surge of energy to a teammate. And heal their shields? shields for them and Te conduit oh. when in danger. So it seems temporary like the might shields. also be able to heal conduit herself as well. Then we have cool. the ultimate, the energy barricade, where she deploys an array of shield jamming devices which damage and slow enemies. Interesting. As you see, it sends a large burst of all these. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a wall an area. You can choose the area where they land, and they immediately start okay. slowing and That's damaging cool. them when they get in range. 
So there you go. Those are conduits. Okay, so thank you video. very much for that, <laughs> Bobs. Um, but we really have this, like, okay, so he said temporary shields. Let's, let's see. I was completely meant to go back and have a look at them. So she goes quicker towards her, like, allies, which is... It depends how much the speed is. Maybe you won't, like, notice it too much. Um, okay, I gotta, I've gotta actually find where they... Okay, Energy Barrage, which is the ultimate, deploying a rare shield jamming devices, which damages and slows enemies. It's an interesting that it says shield jamming devices, but it doesn't do anything to, like, opponent shields, but damages and slows. So it's a really, like, don't go in that area sort of deal. And then Radio Transfer, send a surge of enemies to your team, generate temporary shields for them and conduit when in danger. I wonder if that is, like can go like temporary shields meaning it'll go over your like if you have a red armor would it go over the top of that i wonder like can you like stack it so like you've gone past red you have another like 25 so you've got what is it like 250 health that'd be crazy i i, I really want to know. I, I can't wait till she comes out and we get some real myth busting also i should google quickly if there is apex Season 19 patch notes, possibly. A <laughs> semi-loaded new legend. Okay, fantastic. I just want to see if there's any, like, new points of interest. Okay, that's cool. Watson's pylon. Interesting. Zeus and Cleto station. Whoa, that looks like World's Edge is, uh, oh, not World's Edge. Bloody Storm Point's really, like, got some changes going on eco hq i wonder if they've like because i know a lot of people had like problems with the map i wonder if these like to help like rotations and stuff devastated coast wow these look really cool there's such like a different vibe going on especially with like all the um forbidden zone with all the sky and the pink sky looks like they were like like rainbow halos reworked area lightning rod okay let's see so we've got the old lightning rod, which was a bit of a bland part of the map, to be honest. Like, obviously, the actual lightning rod bit was cool, but a lot of the stuff around it just felt like a no-man's land. It really felt like you were in the trenches. Okay, that's good. Like, they've taken a away... They've, like, added new POIs, which is, first of all, really sick. And then they've just added... They've kind of taken away a lot of land to make it more, like, I feel like smaller and engaging, which is really good. Because Stormpoint was the kind of big map that was just, like huge like hu you wouldn't even see anyone but i love this new like coloring scheme too the whole pink vibe going on it looks like so much fun and cross progression with season 19 we're excited to roll out cross progression in a phased deployment across existing platforms in apex legends keep an eye out for migration okay this that will be interesting to see how that comes because all i want is to be able to bloody <coughs> play like I, I, I keep playing on Xbox, and I, I love Xbox, love, I love playing on Xbox, but I, I want to get good at playing on mouse and keyboard, even though there was like so many buttons and inputs and I get so confused. Other than that, I want to get good at it. I, you know, I play a lot of my other games now more on PC, but the only reason I couldn't switch over was, of course there's the skins, the skins aspect, like I don't want to give up and not use my cool skins that I paid money for, but half it is, all my legends are locked, like, you know, on Xbox, I have so many legend tokens that I don't even know what to do with. But it takes forever starting a new account now, especially when I don't really have, like, a full main. I love playing so many different characters. I still want them to add a random button. That would be fun, because I don't want to choose. I will play anyone, because they're all so much fun. Um, so, yeah, to actually have all the legends unlocked on PC now is going to be fantastic. But... That is, that is the best news. Conduit looks sick, and cross-progression is the new best thing ever. So, I'm excited. Season 19, it might be the season I go back into it, like, full and really hard. Uh, it may be a new main, <laughs> and be playing on PC, so I'll be horrible, but I'll be super excited. Uh, but yeah, it looks fantastic. I wonder if they'll release anything else. Or, I'll, or else, or I'll see you when the new season comes out, or you're welcome to check out any other gaming or TV or movie related stuff on the channel, that would be great. I hope you enjoyed and having a fantastic day, and I hope to see you in the next one.